welcome to the garden. We just got a huge rain last night. And I like to mulch my tomatoes so that we don't get splash back underneath the leaves. Here we have a whole bunch of what would be exposed soil, but I've mulched with these dry leaves. And if we look underneath our tomato leaves, they're completely clear of soil. Not a speck of dirt on them. Whereas some of the other plants are just covered in dirt. This is that splashback. Kicks up soil, it can spread disease. On these lettuce here, it's not particularly worrisome, but on a tomato, it can get early blight and it'll spread that fungus which can decimate your plants. You can see how tall it gets. This splashback goes up more than a foot of just kicking up soil with all those spores and things in there and insects even. So I really like to mulch, especially my tomatoes, to really keep that splashback down. You get all this dirt under here and that can keep moisture trapped which can really hurt your tomatoes. You really want them to breathe. You really want the air to circulate, which is another reason why we trim those bottom leaves. I still gotta thin out my parsley a little bit in some of these spots, but the dill's coming up nice and thick, which I really like. Strawberries are starting to lose their petals and produce fruit. You can see a couple of immature fruit here. They're incredibly small. They don't get much larger than that. They're really just kind of a ground cover in this area, but I love them. They have these wonderful little crimson vines that spread. These chives have finally burst into flower. A couple days of sun will do them good too. Really bring in those pollinators. They're an incredible dark purple this year. They're usually a little bit more pink, but that could just be the soft morning light. They're stunning. Pretty soon they'll be covered in bees and butterflies. We've got horseradish flowering. They're like little tiny white roses in clusters. So that was a really nice surprise. Probably harvest the seed and see if we can get it to grow in other parts of the garden too. My beets, really good. This is the store-bought beet that I planted out for beet greens. So they're getting to the size now where they're gonna be ready to harvest. I wanted these to grow fresh. So these are all new leaves. That way they don't have any pesticides or anything. They're really, really nice. So we'll be eating those pretty soon. We've got potatoes over here and all these. We've got lettuce that's grown up quite a bit. I dare say they've doubled in size since we transplanted them. And it's only been about a week maybe I planted some basil. That's that really little guy there. A couple more over here. And a couple more little ones there. Our spinach is no longer baby spinach, but is fully grown. Looks really nice. I'm excited to see if some of these will produce flowers for me so I can harvest my own spinach seeds. They have such a quick turnaround of about a month that you can really succession plant and do a, a whole bunch of different batches so you've got a continual harvest really easy to pick off the outer leaves and these are still tender even though they're huge just give them a rinse because of that splash back but these are absolutely beautiful homegrown spinach leaves oh I'm so excited to do a huge harvest so by plucking the outer leaves you're actually promoting new growth but dotted throughout are these onions onions are a really slow growing plant so I planted a few of these onions so that uh, once the spinach are done, we have a little something in this bed instead of just a blank slate. I've got a broccoli in this container with a few lettuce planted around. I've got to transplant my pumpkins growing here in this tomato pot. I'll probably put this tomato in the ground. It's doing really well. Then we've got rhubarb over here. This is a two-year plant. This is the first-year plant from little transplants. And we've got one of those white cabbage butterflies just resting but I'm just gonna let him do his thing 
the asparagus is turning to ferns and I'm gonna actually bind them I always get this problem where the ferns flop over and they just won't stand up I tried to stake one up here but I'll probably do uh, one more stake on the other side and then we'll just bind them so they'll support each other and have a little help with these stakes that way we don't need tons of stakes just the two the radishes that I wanted to grow to seed are producing flowers so pretty soon we'll get some more radish seeds too which is really nice I loved those baby radishes and what were baby radishes are now basically fully grown one of them is even bolting now that one doesn't have the biggest bulb but there are some really nice bulbs under there all this rain has really gotten them to swell up so we'll do a big harvest of radishes pretty soon too my mustard greens have bolted as well I'm probably just gonna pull these don't really like those too much I more like these romaine type lettuce they're just more versatile they're mild flavor so you can use them on any cuisine more romaine dill got hammered by that rain but a few days of sun should perk them back up we might thin them out a little bit too in harvest while we're at it then I have a celery in the middle here surrounded by beets these look really nice we're gonna try and thin a couple of these out because they grow in clusters of two and then we have carrots around the outside edge I actually planted another ring of carrots here that didn't sprout for whatever reason then I bought some peppers just to kind of a test see if they would do okay outside they're doing okay for for now but we're gonna have to stake them up and transplant them pretty soon then we've got peas looking really nice and even more peas in the back there along the trellises I noticed they kinda have trouble gripping these squared trellises they more like little round ones so I've set up some little burdock stakes so they can grip on you can see that they wind around in little coils so to grip something round is much easier for them and I've sequentially planted other plants here we have a lettuce in the center and then these ones on the outside edges are cucumbers so once the peas are done the cucumbers will take over got another broccoli here that's really taken off look at the size of those leaves that's awesome I've got shelled peas here these are a little different than the sugar snap peas that I'm growing on the back more lettuce more broccoli got a tomato here with some red lettuce growing underneath we've got kale and this is where I started all the broccoli this I actually replanted just to bury it a little bit deeper you can see those seed leaves just kind of buried that's to really shore it in so it doesn't fall over it got a little floppy during the transplant then we've got thyme in this bed it's not coming up as thick as I would like but it may yet fill in then I have more radishes here and finally in this container we have black beans I planted a whole bunch of black beans just to kind of fill this up until I can plant out a pepper or a tomato in here everything looks amazing in the garden this year it's just gonna be the best year ever so I hope you all are out in the garden giving it a grow thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time